Hi everybody, this is Outdoorsman Gary Heydrich. How are you doing today? And uh, I'm out at the K-Dock area on Bull Shoals. Been fishing all morning here. Started off real foggy, and that wasn't so bad. But boy, we had a slick for most of the morning. Not much wind, hardly any wind. It's trying to pick up a little bit now around noon, but it was tough conditions. I used to have a t-shirt that had all the excuses for us fishermen when we didn't catch many fish or any fish. And one was, cuz, the wind got me today. No wind. <laughs> well, out here we did catch several, I did catch several fish. I'm fishing by myself, me and Tuffy. Picked up, uh, uh, boy, I grasped, get started with, I grasped with my chart a lot of really nice schools of shad. So they're moving, the shad schools are really moving back into the big pockets. And this is where I've been usually this time of the year catching walleye. And I've been using flicker minnows. I'll go uh, chart and get up near the points. If I see a lot of uh, activity up there on the points, I'll cast the flicker minnow. Uh, it's a great trolling bait, but I tell you what, it's a good casting bait when these walleye are near the points. And I caught several, I think I caught five or six, uh, let's say six, I don't know. <laughs> but they were all the same size, just, uh, just small fish. And uh, also picked up some nice uh, white bass trolling and casting too out here. And they've been picking up fish, like I mentioned, but uh, most of them have been small. Now, as you can see, I charted some nice size walleye today on my chart. Take a look at this. So it's not too far off. I think if I'd had more wind today, I'd have probably caught some big old girls, but uh, just small fellows today. And they've been picking up some white bass. I've talked to three or four different people trolling today. And the last couple of days, they've said they've caught several white bass by trolling. Uh, crankbaits and occasionally a small walleye, occasionally a pretty nice sized crappie. I did go crappie fishing today here at Bull Shoals and I, I pitched this little uh, jig, this just a 16th ounce jig here. I like the chartreuse uh, color with this off colored water here in the Kadok area, white body chartreuse tail. Now the thing of it is today I caught I think seven crappie but they were all males, just small males. And so that shows me that the males are up on the bank cruising, looking for uh, some spawning activities. But the girls are laying out. I, I charted several in some of the brush piles. They just don't seem like they want to bite. So uh, I caught several fish, small uh, male fish. But uh, I hope you folks that went out to bull, bull shoals this weekend did better than I did on the bigger fish today. And what's happening here, the water temperature is like 68 I, I charted some today over 72 degrees. That's that's a good thing. Now the bad thing about it, I understand, this weekend we had some real rough weather moving in. We we're talking about big rains, up to five inches. I, I heard on the weather before I left the house today. So if this occurs, it could be a little bit tough fishing. One thing good about this rain, if it's coming in this weekend is the fact that a lot of the bass are spawning. Out here at Bull Shoals, I'd say nearly 50-60% of the bass have spawned. Same way at Table Rock, a lot of the fish are spawned, at least uh, over 50%. So I would rather have a lake coming up during the spawn than falling down. So this makes for a much better hatch and a, it will help us a great deal. So if we get a lot of rain this weekend, that's one positive thing to look at. That lake's going to come up instead of falling. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, here at uh, Bull Shoals, wrapping this up, I've seen several uh, shad come up and bust today. It's individual largemouth or bass coming up and hitting. And so always keep an extra rod like with a pop -ar, top water bait. I'd strongly recommend this. Same thing that's happened out at Table Rock. On the, on the slicker days, just keep an eye out on the surface because it, the bass could come up and pop a little school of shad at any time, pick up that bear, pop R or spook, and you're going to catch some fish, I'm sure, by doing this. And uh, dock fishing here at Bull Shoals, they've been picking up some bass on blue, black and blue jigs. That's another thing to consider if it gets a little bit tough. I right, run over to Table Rock. Table Rock, the water temperature is anywhere from 67 up to 70, 71 degrees, depending where you're at. I'm shaking here a little bit. And uh, also, let's see, uh, a variety of fish are being caught. There's still bedding fish at uh, Table Rock. So if you want to go sight fishing, that could be good this weekend, depending on the weather. 
And if it's tough though, I tell you what, one of my favorite baits when it's real tough at Table Rock, go to the Ned Rig. That's my standby when it's a kind of a, a tough bite out. You can usually catch fish anywhere from 15 to maybe 18 feet of water using that Ned Rig. Do not overlook that, uh, overlook that this weekend if you get out and it's a tough bite. But up the James, I know they've been picking up some fish on spinner baits on that off-colored water, uh, crank baits and jigs, just a variety of baits of catching fish right now at Table Rock. And around the docks have been, swim baits have been working, so check this out. Uh, good reports on uh, crappie up in the Flat Creek area off the James. Had pretty good reports this week of crappie being caught up there. And uh, in, in, it seems like five to eight feet of water around the brush. So check that this out this weekend if we have good weather. And uh, so the crappie bite is really on. I had reports up the Kings River too. Crappie, white bass, and walleye being caught up the Kings. I was up the Long Creek Arm the other day, picked up, picked up several crappie up there on the jig by jigging close to the bank in about five to seven feet of water for crappie. So all in all, it looks good for Table Rock and Bull Shoals this weekend. Just depends on this darn weather front, this big rain that might come in. Wrapping it up, out at Lake Tanny Como, I was out there uh, yesterday for a little bit. The water had been real, real clear at Tanny Como. Now it is actually uh, kind of stained a little bit. It looks a little more green than it was a week ago. And uh, so the pink trout worm that's been working for me and a lot of folks didn't work so good yesterday. So I went to the chartreuse and caught several trout by using the chartreuse uh, Berkeley trout worm. Try this. And they're picking up some fish on small spinners at uh, Lake Candy Como as well. And of course, the chartreuse power bait's been working. So all in all, depending on the weather, we ought to be able to get out and get bit this weekend. I want to thank you for being with us. Be sure to like and share. Very, very important because we're a, a new little show here on the block. And we'd like you to tell your neighbors and friends about us. And, uh, and be sure to like and share. Also, you can go to YouTube and look up fish in chums and subscribe very important we'd love to have you be a member of our family so be sure to subscribe it's free don't cost you anything if you have any comments or photos i'd like to share with you by golly just uh go to uh well just go to fish and chums at gmail.com like my buddy gary finch look at this nice crappie he caught pretty nice fish good going gary all right, that's it for the day from Bull Shoals, k area. Adios. See you next week. God bless you.